Music makes me lose control. Oh, that hurt my chest. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name's Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. If you love to hear the melodious sounds of music playing as your imagery goes across the screen, then you need to be using Scorefitter. Scorefitter is a program that allows you to use several different genres or categories of royalty free music to play along with your videos. It's a great program that does a lot of awesome things for you and I'm going to show you how to get it done. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Alright guys, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Now, before I get started, I want to remind you of a few quick things. Always remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do that, it lets people know that the content in this video is good. So if you think that this video is muy bueno, make sure you like, comment, and share. Also, you got to subscribe to the channel if you don't subscribe you're gonna miss out whenever I upload a video and if you do that you're gonna be so so sorry you're gonna be sorry I'm telling you boy you're gonna be sorry so make sure that you subscribe to the channel that way you'll know when I upload new content and you won't be missing out on the pinnacle studio education that I'm bringing to the table okay let's get into this as you can see, I got a little slideshow thing going on in the timeline. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to select a track that I want my score fitter music to go to. So I'm going to select the track underneath it. And then I'm going to click on the create song button, which is the score fitter button. So this opens up the available score fitter library so let me tell you about score fitter then i'll go over the interface and then i'll show you how to use it so score fitter is basically a program that allows you to add royalty free music to your videos the great thing about score fitter is that it can adjust to the length of the song and it will rearrange or compose the song so that it fits exactly the length of your song. It ends on point, starts on point. It does everything for you. It's really, really simple. And all you gotta do is trim or change the duration of how long you want the song to be. So let's talk about the interface. So as you can see, the interface is pretty simple and intuitive. You have a category, so you select the category of music that you like. Say I go ahead and pick inspirational. And then you select the song that you'd like to use. So let's say I go ahead and select Homeward Bound. And then you get to select the version of the song that you like. And let's say I select the Valley Trail. Once you make the selection, you can preview it to see how it sounds by clicking on the preview button. And then you can press the stop preview button like I did to stop it. Now some other options that you have on here are add to movie. So if you click on this, it'll add it to the timeline track. And remember how we clicked on a specific track and it's gonna add it to the track that we clicked on. You can choose save as. So if you select save as, what it's gonna do is it's gonna save the song and you can go ahead and name that song whatever you want. This is gonna be useful if you know you're gonna be using a song a specific amount of times you know you're gonna use it over and over again and it'll save it to a location for you you pick that location and then you can go ahead and just select that song so if I click on save as 
lets me name it whatever I want and then I click on OK let's say I name this and so now I have a safe song what I can also do is I can change the duration so let's say I want it to be 10 seconds because I know that my video clip is 10 seconds and I can do that and then when I click add to movie it's going to add it for just 10 seconds so it'll match up that duration that I want and if I want to have more music I can purchase more music by clicking on the get more button And then it'll take me to the location I want for whatever if I want to purchase more music or more score fitter music from the Pinnacle Studio eStore. So let's say I just want to go ahead and add this to the movie. So I'm going to click add to movie and it should add a 10 second duration right where my playhead is. And there you go. And you can tell if I play this back that going to end at 10 seconds. So let's say I wanted it to be the same length as the movie. I didn't know how long the movie was. But all I really need to do is place my playhead at the end where it's in trim mode where you see an arrow and a line. Left click, hold down my mouse and drag this out to the duration I want. And then I let go and you'll see that there is no waveform but in a few seconds it's going to compose and rearrange the song and you'll see the waveform pop up. There it is. So now the length of this song is exactly the length of my project and if I come near the end again you'll see that it's going to end the song right at the end of my project. Perfecto. So let's say you wanted to use that song that you saved. You like, hey, I had this song. Say, I want to use this song. Hi. Well, then basically, all you need to do is go to your library. Go down to the content section. If it's not open, then just click on it and it'll open up. Go to sound stage. Go to score fitter. And under the score fitter, you should find the song that you saved. And here it is. It's called My Song. And now all you got to do is just drag that down the timeline. It'll be the same length. Be the same song the way that you set it up. Everything will be exactly the same. And if you make any adjustments to it, guess what? It'll arrange and compose the song again and make it the correct length that you change it to. Beautiful. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. You got to show the thumb some love. All right. Showing the thumb some love lets other people know that the content in the video is good. Comment. If you leave comments, I will provide you answers. I may not always have the answer for you, but if I don't, I can point you in the direction to get you the help that you need. And last but not least, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you'll be missing out on all of the Pinnacle Studio love that I bring to all of my Pinnacle Studio peeps because you won't know when I upload a video. So subscribe so that you stay in the know and you can watch every video that I upload to YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.